Cholesterol acts as a precursor molecule for steroid hormones, including pregnenolone, progestins, testosterone, cortisol, aldosterone, and estrogens, which are essential for healthy human growth and development. Cholesterol is also abundant in the brain and required to maintain proper function. It is a critical component of cell membranes and the myelin sheath that covers nerve fibers. Humans obtain cholesterol from their diet, but most of it is synthesized in the liver. However, the blood-brain barrier prevents peripheral cholesterol from entering the brain, so the brain synthesizes cholesterol de novo. The brain consists of various cell types, including neurons, astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, and microglia, each having unique cholesterol requirements. Cholesterol turnover and metabolism is essential to brain health, with a closely maintained balance between biosynthesis and elimination. CYP46A1, cholesterol 24 hydroxylase, converts cholesterol into 24S hydroxycholesterol, also known as cerebrosterol. This compound passes through the blood brain barrier and undergoes further metabolism in the liver, where it is transformed into bile acids. 24 OHC has been extensively studied as a biomarker for brain metabolic activity particularly in neurological disorders. It plays a crucial role in modulating various receptors and ion channels, including the NMDA receptor. The modulation of NMDA receptors in the brain is important for synaptic plasticity, learning, and memory. Additionally, 24-OHC acts as a positive allosteric modulator of NMDA receptors. However, overstimulation of NMDARs can lead to excitotoxicity and neuronal cell death seen in conditions like status epilepticus and hyperalgesia. CYP46A1 is thought to contribute to the pathogenesis of certain neurological disorders, including status epilepticus. Activity of this hydroxylase can increase neuronal oxidative stress via the glutamate-mediated excitotoxic pathway leading to seizures. Results from various mouse-based behavioral learning assays suggest that CYP46A1 plays a role in higher-order brain function. Excessive glutamate receptor stimulation can also lead to decreased cholesterol levels due to CYP46A1 activity. Interestingly, in vitro CYP46A1 can be activated by glutamate, suggesting a reciprocal relationship. Increased CYP46A1 activity boosts excitatory neurotransmission, which in turn increases CYP46A1 activity. Therefore, CYP46A1 inhibition is hypothesized to be useful in managing conditions that lead to excessive glutamate activity like schizophrenia, status epilepticus, and hyperalgesia.